Coop. What's up? Hey, I'm running a little late. You think you can uh, feed the dog? Yeah, that's no problem. Hey, how'd that date go last night? Eh, not too bad. She, uh, she keeps asking to meet my friends, which is you. Can't have that now, right? <sighs> Come on, man. Don't be like that. You know you're, uh, not the easiest person to get along with. Plus, I mean, I've been on, like, two dates with her. I don't want you freaking her out. I've never liked your girlfriends anyway. They're always too... Ugh. Right. Oh, don't forget to feed the dog, man. Yeah. Up, little dude. Oh, were you napping? You know, Danny wants to wait a while to finish you off. And I keep telling him, the longer we keep you, the better your chances are. But no, he wants to wait. Wait for people to stop looking for you. Wait for the heat to die down, as he puts it. <sighs> I swear he watches too many movies. Just kill me. Get back in there! Did I say you could be sneaky like that? Okay, look. Like I said, Daniel wants to keep you alive for a while, and for the first couple weeks, I didn't agree with that decision. It seemed too risky. But the longer we've had you, the more I'm enjoying this, man. I've never had this much power before. I was never the kind of guy that would go for the adrenaline rushes. I'd see people rock climbing and skydiving, and I'd think to myself, that's not for you. This wasn't even my idea, man. That's the craziest part about all of this. I wanted nothing to do with this. But something about these last couple weeks with you, you've become something special to me. If I was an artist, I'd say you were my muse, man. So now I agree with Daniel. We should wait. We should keep you. But not for the idiotic reasons he wants to. I want to wait so I can keep thinking of things that I can do to you. 
The possibilities are endless, man. But you wouldn't understand that. Chained up down here like the worthless dog you are. Action! 